Next on Worcester News Tonight, the Patriots playing for a trip to the Super Bowl. And fans are ready to cheer on their team. But they may be shoveling before kickoff. A major winter storm is on the way. How central Massachusetts is preparing. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Anna Botari. This morning's snow system missed central Massachusetts, but Mother Nature isn't done quite yet. We're tracking some major snow headed our way this weekend. Mayor Joseph Petty is urging everyone to use this weather event as an opportunity to remind people to sign up for Alert Worcester. By signing up, the city will be able to call or text critical information quickly about severe weather, unexpected road closures, missing persons, and evacuation of buildings and neighborhoods. We will have much more on what we can expect from this weekend storm coming up a little later in the show. In central Massachusetts, many are preparing for this major winter storm. Cities and towns are gearing up to keep streets and sidewalks clear, while others are looking to keep the homeless safe. Our Olivia Lemon has the details. For heavy snow and temperatures in the a forecast for heavy snow and temperatures in the single digits this weekend has some preparing to battle the elements outside. We're going through all the equipment, uh, we're putting on snow blowers for our sidewalk machines and uh, making some last minute repairs and uh, kind of just getting ready and watching the radar. While others are working to create a warm place for people to stay inside. And now getting the storm, we know that we have to stretch the time open for more hours. So it's, uh, it's a little challenging. Hotel Grace opened three years ago in the basement of St. John's Church. Friday, Pastor Richie Gonzalez loaded up a truck of food to bring to the overflow shelter. We provide a meal in Hotel Grace when people come in every night. So we make sure that not only they got a warm bed, but they eat a hot meal so they go to sleep with a full belly. Holden DPW Director John Woodsmall says his crews handled a few plowable storms in November, but this is the first major storm of the season and they are ready. We're probably looking at a good long duration they're talking about the snow starting around 10 p.m. Saturday night and we'll probably be out until 10 p.m. Sunday night. Hotel Grace opens any night the temperature drops below freezing. Pastor Gonzalez says they have already been open more than 60 nights this season. Last winter they were open for 90 nights altogether. I believe that maybe one or two nights it was less than 50 people. Every night we fail to full capacity, 50 people every night. And with Arctic cold air expected on Monday, both organizations agree this may be just the beginning of winter. We're already expecting snow. We know it's part of, of winter. The crews they, they don't like a, a very busy winter, but they like to have a little bit of overtime. So this will uh, certainly help them out with that. Now, Hotel Grace will open early on Sunday so people can get out of the snow if needed. In Worcester, the city's parking ban will go into effect at 4 p.m. on Saturday. And all DPW crews are reminding drivers to stay off the road. But if you do need to get out, don't crowd the plow. In Worcester, Olivia Lemon, Worcester News Tonight. The New England Patriots are gearing up to play in their eighth straight AFC Championship game Sunday. The team will be in Kansas City to face off against the Chiefs, but the team isn't the only one getting ready for the big game. Two businesses in Millbury say the Patriots are a big part of their success as well. Our Cam Jandro has the story. Why watch the Patriots game on TV Sunday when you can see it on the silver screen? It's like being at the game without having to... Uh wait in line and pay big tick parking and pay big admission tickets and airfare. The Elm Draft House in Millbury has been showing Patriots games at its theater since 2001. Owner Jim Perry says when he offers viewings of the NFL playoffs, he does some of his best business. And I like the Patriots, the Bruins, the Celtics, the Red Sox. I love them all, but the Patriots seem to pull them in. People come in, you know, during snowstorms, people, my regulars that are here, they're that superstitious. They sit in their seats. A short walk down the street from the draft house is Matt's at the buzzer. The barbershop has become notorious for its love of Boston sports. Right now, it is strictly Patriots. We don't have anybody asking for Celtics or Bruins right now. Everybody wants the Pats from two-year-old kids to 50-year-old men. Owner Matt Corey says he always seems to be busy because his teams always seem to be winning. We've had a bunch of World Series championships in the last 20 years. We've had a bunch of Super Bowls, and we've even squeezed the Stanley Cup and a uh, NBA championship. So in the whole scheme of things, we have nothing to complain about in this area. Sunday, New England will be looking to make their NFL record 11th Super Bowl. Both Millbury businesses say 
they're ready for a win on Sunday. I think we'll win by more than 10 points is my, is my feeling, and I think we're going to score quick and early. Uh, I have a feeling it's, it's not a given, you know what I'm saying, and uh, we beat them once. I'm saying we can beat them again. Now, if you want to watch the game at the Draft House Sunday, you have to be 18, but admission is free. Perry says even with the snowstorm on its way, he's expecting a decent crowd, so if you want to get a seat, make sure you get there early. In Millbury tonight, I'm Cam Jandro, Worcester News Tonight. A fire by WPI's campus gets a student's attention while also posing risks for firefighters. Worcester fire crews responded to the two-alarm fire on Institute Road Friday morning. The three-decker is not WPI property and no students live there, but the school warns students to avoid the area. Worcester Fire says the blaze started on the third floor and spread to the attic. The layout of the building posed a challenge for firefighters. To get more people into these buildings, they lock them up sometimes, they put extra apartments in. Um, so you just can't get from one end to the other all the time anymore. So we just had to kind of figure out the layout of the building. So you could definitely smell it from pretty far away, so I think people knew something was going on. And definitely being so close to campus and everyone walking to class, uh, it's a pretty busy time of the day on campus right now. The department says at least two people are displaced. The cause of the fire is under investigation. A water main break closes part of a city road Friday morning afternoon. This all happened on Gate Street. Crews were on scene for several hours digging two holes and removing dirt to get down to the break. The Department of Public Works says residents in the area may see rusty water. Governor Charlie Baker signing a bill into law this week supporting first responders. It will allow them to open up about stressful situations without worrying about the information being used against them. Our Rosalind Flaherty has the details. When responding to a call, firefighters can be put in stressful situations. And sometimes it takes a toll. See something that messes you up. But, you know, it's the fear of there being a repercussion of getting help. Governor Charlie Baker signed a bill this week creating a new law allowing first responders to confidentially talk to their peers to help them cope with traumatic events experienced on the job. The conversation will not be used against them. When you sign up to do this job, you don't really have a way to know whether you're going to be okay with that stuff. Westboro Fire Lieutenant Dan Hare says the bill is a step in the right direction from removing a stigma. He is also a member of a peer support team who responds to tragedies in Massachusetts, helping people get through. I think the fire service and, the, and even the police departments are really embracing it now. Uh, it's, I've seen quite a turn even in the last five years of different agencies getting involved. Worcester Police Lieutenant Sean Murtha says the bill will encourage officers to stay healthy. Certainly it can be a stressful job, but I think talking to peers is a good way to handle it. Meanwhile, Lieutenant Hare says the goal is to get people back on the line working and to prevent the tragedy of suicide. People who bottle this stuff up and take it home and don't talk or don't have an outlet to share and get it off their chest, um, it, it can destroy uh, the person it, you know, and, and it can lead them down that road. Rosalind Flaherty, Worcester News Tonight. State Senator Michael Moore joins more than 70 lawmakers to request additional heat assistance funding. 160,000 people in Massachusetts use the Low Income Heating Assistance Program. Senator Moore says the funds will run out of money at the end of January due to federal funding shortfalls. Moore co-signed the letter to Governor Baker requesting $30 million from the state to deal with the potential shortfall. You've got a government that's shut down which has now further compounded the issue. Um, you know, we've got, I hate to say it, we've got someone who's saying we've got a crisis on the border. Oh, you know, I have a crisis at home. Moore says winter is nowhere near over, and as more snowstorms and cold temperatures hit the state, lawmakers need to ensure everyone has a warm place to stay. The Worcester Bravehearts and the Worcester Railers host the city's first sports management summit Friday. The day featured panel discussions, a job and internship fair, and a keynote address. Bravehearts general manager Dave Peterson says sports management majors are on the rise at central Massachusetts colleges and says this is the perfect opportunity to match students with sports leaders in the area. The Bravehearts, the Railers, the Pirates, the Worcester Blades, the Worcester 78s, and there's soon going to be a sixth team here, the Pawtucket Red Sox, and they were actually present here today as well. And so if we're not talking about the job opportunities in the sports industry, then I think that we're doing ourselves a disservice because when you have so many schools in the area where sport management 
careers are growing, you want to put those students in the best place to succeed. Why have them move out of Worcester? Let's educate them here and have them stay here. Peterson says he hopes this becomes an annual event in the city.